Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Slay the Spire, where I try to learn how to play the defect and actually win a run for once. Let's see. Lose all of our gold to remove two cards? I think that's a wonderful trade. Let's do it. Let's get rid of a strike and a defend right off the bat. Start with a nice thin deck. I love it. Okay, um, let's take a look at pathways here. So, a couple of campfires there. Yeah, yeah, I think I like this path. We get a shop after a bit. I mean, we're not, we're probably not going to get enough gold to buy anything, but we'll at least give it a try. Defend, defend. We'll do it that way. Okay, so zap him. Zap him. Strike. And now he is deceased. Goodbye. Okay, uh, we only got 10 there. Turbo, gain energy and add a void into your discard pile. Unplayable status cards that consume energy when drawn. <laughs> so I'm not really a huge fan of that one. Um... Let's go Cold Snap. Maybe we can get some sort of like a defensive type thing going here. Six damage, Channel of Frost. Smack him with a strike, play a defend. Hey, and the Lightning Bolt got him. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So let's go dual cast. And then we'll go strike, strike. And hopefully next turn he's dead. And that is indeed the case. Okay, so we got Hello World. At the start of your turn, add a random common card into your hand. Channel a bunch of lightning and exhaust. Or deal seven damage, draw three cards. Discard all cards drawn this way. They do not cost zero. Uh, let's go Tempest. We only got 23 gold. That's not a lot. Uh, let's go... Dual cast, cold snap, strike. I'm going to get a little bit of block, but not a lot. Um, strike, strike, defend. And hopefully next turn we can finish him off. There we go. Not bad. What do we got? Rebound. Deal nine damage and place the next card you play this turn on top of your draw file. I, I think that's a good card. If nothing else, it's nine damage for one energy, which isn't bad. Um, cold snap, zap, strike. Let's go rebound, dual cast, strike, and then he's going to split into two slimes that each have 15, which isn't bad. Um... Rebound. Strike. We'll get the strike back. We'll hit him with a cold snap. And next turn, he should be dead because we're going to draw a strike. Cool. I really like sweeping beam and I really like beam cell. I think we're going to go... Let's go sweeping beam between those two. We only got 52 gold, which isn't really much. Yeah, I, I think we just save our money. There's not really anything there that we can really do too much with. Um, Tempest. Rebound, 12 damage. Zap would be free. Cold Snap, 9 damage and 1 Frost. Dual Cast would be free. Let's go Zap. Let's make that free. Okay. Hmm. Well, play Zap for free. Play Dual Cast. Play the one defend we have and hit him with a strike, I think. Probably our best bet. Um, Cold Snap. Rebound. You're dead. Poison Potion. Gain four focus, but at the start of each turn, lose one focus. Deal 15 damage. Turn we play this card. Reduces cost by one. 
or evoke your next orb and channel the orb that was just evoked. I think we will go with recursion. 175 gold. Let's do it. It's going to give us a curse, which stinks, but whenever you played a power, oh, that I wish we'd. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, we're going to do this until we get a relic. We got Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck. Uh, that's actually amazing, considering we have a curse in our deck right now. I'm super happy about that. Uh, play Zap. Play Recursion. Smack it with a strike. Throw up the defend. And the turn. Okay. So. Uh, dual cast. Cold snap. Play the defend. Because we're going to be removing that curse at the rest site that we're about to hit. Thankfully, he is done. Another rebone. Channel one plasma is pretty good. Because plasma is excellent. Extra energy. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So we are going to remove that curse from our deck. Gain 75 gold and lose. It will do it. And then I think we skip the elite. Sweeping beam. That's actually the perfect time to have drawn that. So I'm super happy we got that when we did. Um, play recursion. That did not hit the one that I wanted it to hit. We'll throw up the defend. And then I'm actually going to pop an Ancient Potion here, I think. Yeah. Let's do... And then the Lightning Bolt, with a 1 in 4 chance, killed the one guy who was actually going to inflict a status effect on me. Because that's life. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, let's dual cast. <coughs> Excuse me. I think you hit him. I think you finish this dude off, and then next next turn we go hard on him, but he's gonna go, he's gonna hit really hard if we let him, so, uh, and unfortunately, we cannot kill him. That's, well, I suppose we could have killed him using the poison potion, but, and in fact, we probably should have, but a little late now. Um, skip. You gotta rest. We're about to fight the boss. Sweeping beam. Hit him with a dual cast. Hit him with a strike. This is fine. We'll be able to make him... Well, maybe. Uh, hit him. Hit him again. There we go, he shifted. And then we end the turn. Uh, play... Ooh, man. Play fusion. And then... Play a defend. We'll have more energy next turn. Hit him with that. It doesn't count as an attack, so we don't get hit with thorns. And then we'll go defend... Defend Tempest. Okay. Play Zap. Sweeping Beam. He's going to hit us pretty hard here. But we can, we can do this. So play Cold Snap. That'll evoke Plasma, which will give us two energy. And then we can basically play our whole hand here. Um... Which is still not enough to actually really mess it up. You know what? Let's actually drink that. We should have drank that at the beginning of the battle if we were going to, but a little late now. He still shifts. Go with the rebound. Go with the dual cast. And then I guess you're going to throw up a couple defense because we've got nothing else in our hand. Um, okay. Well, I think you go with a recursion. Followed by a defend and a defend and a strike because I don't want to dual cast the plasma right now. Anyway, wow. And I think we are dead. Yep. 
We are dead. Oh no, we lived somehow. How did we survive? I don't know, but I'll take it. Unfortunately, we are dead now. <laughs> Rip. Ah, well, tell you what, let's give this one more go. Well, we'll try one more time. I just cannot seem to get a decent run together on camera. It's funny because I've won with this character like three or four times off camera. I just can't seem to win on camera. I don't understand. Anyway, uh, is there a chance of us getting to an elite? Not really. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove a card. Let's get rid of a basic strike. And then pathway. There's a lot of campfires late. One, two, three. That's a pretty amazing little bit there. I think we kind of go this way. Okay, dual cast. Strike, strike. Being aggressive, not necessarily a bad thing. We can, he's dead. All right. Consume, gain two focus, but lose an orb slot. Sure, let's do it. That could be good, potentially. Dual cast, strike, strike. Hit him for a bunch of damage there. Uh, I think you go zap. Defend strike. We gotta kill him quickly. And now he's dead. Goodbye. Fear potion, three vulnerable. Uh, I will take a beam cell for sure. Oh, spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. We get healed. Okay, hey, it's a positive. It's not a whole lot of healing because we weren't hurt that badly, but it's still a benefit. Um, now, do you go to the shop? Or do you fight the enemies and try and get more cards? I think you go shop. Just to see what we have available here. And we don't have much. We could remove a card. But we're going to have another shop later. So I think we leave. We just got free loot. 50 gold to remove a card. Let's do it. Um, let's get rid of a basic defend. And then here, let's just see what happens. Three focus, lose an orb slot. But still costs two. I'm going to dig. I'm going to try and get a relic. Ornamental fan. Every time you, gain, you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Okay. What do we got here? Seek. Choose one card from your draw pile and place it in your hand. That actually seems amazing. but we're going to continue on. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you can add a card to your deck. Receive Iron Wave and store a card. Huh. So. Interesting. Let's do it and let's store a. Let's just store a defend, I think. And then here, I think you dig again. We got Vajra, which is a great card. We'll swing over here. Gain one focus. Channel X lightning. Channel one dark. Maybe we could do some sort of a focus deck. I don't know what we're going for right now. Right now, I'm just kind of stacking up relics as best I can. To see if maybe we can make something work. Vajra there helping me get the kill. Uh, Ball lightning, I will take. Let's dig again. Pocket watch. Whenever you play three or less cards in a turn, draw three additional cards at the start of the next turn. That's actually really good. And it's three or less. So that's amazing. Okay, 
uh, beam cell. Zap. We're going to go for the consume, I think. We're only going to have two orb slots. But they're going to do a lot more damage. And then whenever I get lightning, it's going to do more. So we're going to go for defrag. We're going to go for ball lightning. And then we'll go for... I really should have tried to block <laughs> in retrospect. Okay. Well, we'll go for Iron Wave. Do a little damage. Thankfully, we're at full HP, so... It's not that bad. Um, we, We're not going to use Consume again. Let's go for a... Zap. And an Iron Wave. And a... Dual Cast. All right, we got Beam Cell, Ball Lightning, Strike, Strike. So we don't get to draw as many cards next turn, but we did some good work there. Uh, go for Dual Cast again. Go for the Zap. Go for the Block. And he's whittling us down, but we're killing him faster than he's killing us. So I'll take it. We may even be able to kill him on this turn. Maybe. No, not quite. That's all right. Uh, might as well go for the strike. It's more damage. Oh, no, he's dead. Goodbye. Because my lightning balls do six damage instead of the normal. Okay, I'll take it. Add card. What do we got? Echo form. First card you play each turn is play twice. Meteor strike. Five energy. But it deals 24 damage and channel three plasma. Hmm. I mean, that would fit well in an energy deck. But honestly, I think with what we've got, none of these really do it for us. I think you just skip them all. Every two turns, gain an orb slot. That seems incredible with the... Uh, with consume. Ectoplasm is also amazing. But let's let's try this out. We're going to try out Inserter and see how this thing works for us. We're going to give it a try. All right, let's see. So working backwards, I love a light shop, except that means we got to fight an elite. And second floor elites are jerks. Um, <laughs> and there's another shop right there beforehand. There are uh, a, there are not many campfires on this. Are there? Uh, well, I think we'll probably work our way around like so. Well, once we get to here, we can decide if we're going to try and tackle, tackle an elite or not. I think that's the smart way to do it. Let's go there. And since he's vulnerable, and each one of these does 10 damage, I think you just go for it. And then we get a little bit of block for free as well, which is nice, because we didn't draw any blocks on that. Uh, okay. So let's go... Consume. Ball lightning. And now our orbs are going to do more damage. And we've got kind of like a nice little loop sort of thing going here. Iron wave. Uh, strike, strike. And you're dead. Goodbye. Speed potion. Gain five decks at the end. Uh, I think that's probably... Probably better than the vulnerable. Could be quite useful. Draw two cards and add a burn to your... Yeah, I think we skip all that. None of that really fits with our deck. Okay. What do we got? So... You go... Hmm. What do you do? I think you go... Ball Lightning and Zap. And then you dual cast. I think you do it that way. We've almost gotten, we've gotten rid of a lot of his block. Not all of it, but a decent amount. So hit him with a beam cell. Hit him with, uh, maybe a defrag. And then go iron wave and defend. It upgrades our little lightning balls a little bit. Hit him with another beam cell. We're trying to get rid of that artifact. 
and then go ball lightning zap dual cast and he is done that actually went really well fusion upgraded channel one plasma absolutely hook me up and these uh thread and needle is incredible bag of marbles is also pretty good remove a card yes let's get rid of what do we get rid of i think we just get rid of a basic strike we've got a very nice thin deck right now which is lovely um so we're gonna go beam cell on you Definitely want to play fusion. And then do you go for a zap and a defrag, or do you just go for a consume? I mean, plasma plasma is unaffected. I think you go zap and defrag. And unfortunately, you take a hit, because we do have a distinct lack of blocks in our deck at the moment, which is not exactly ideal. Um, Let's see. So first of all, you want to play the defense, for sure. And then I think you go here, and then there. Hmm, I was really hoping we'd hit that guy twice, but whatever. Um, Beam Cell, Iron Wave. And then let's go Defend, Strike, Dual Cast. Uh, now I have a bunch of energy that I can't do anything with. That was really dumb. Good job, self. Why'd you dual cast the plasma? Pay attention. You know better. Hmm. Okay. So, ball lightning. Zap. Defend. We're going to lose all of our plated armor. And we're not really cutting through him. So here's the, here's the new plan. Beam cell. Play that. And then go with a dual cast. That'll break away his armor. And then hit him with an iron wave. This guy's proving to be a bit of a jerk. Oh, and that's right, he heals as well. That's a that's a thing. Uh consume. Upgrade all my orbs. Hit him with a ball lightning. And if I strike him. We're still not going to do enough damage to actually kill him. So, we'll go for a defend yet again, but he's dead next turn for sure. Still, that was not, uh, this was not a better, one of my better combats. But we made it. We made it through. White noise. Add a random power to your hand and it costs zero and it's already upgraded? Sure. I'll take a free power every, every time we come across that card. Uh, I think we go for a rest because we can add cards to our hand. When we rest, recursion actually could be really good just to help us cycle through like plasma and all that kind of stuff. So play white noise. We get machine learning. So basically we draw an extra card every turn for free. I think we go fusion and then we go consume. Okay. Uh, beam cell. Iron wave. Defend, defend, recursion, end the turn. And now we got an orb slot back. So we're going to go recursion. That gives us free energy. We'll go ball lightning. We'll go with a zap. We'll go with a dual cast. Hit him with a strike. And we're going to do a little bit of work. Okay, make him vulnerable. Hit him with the Iron Wave. Throw up a Consume, which means we can throw that up and get two energy back, and then we can essentially play our whole hand. We now have eight Focus, which still is not enough to just completely stop him. But now he is dead. Melter, remove all block from an enemy and deal 14 damage. Recursion again could be great. I mean, Melter is just so good against certain enemies, but I think a zero cost recursion really fits in our deck pretty well. 
start with this. Self repair is great. Um, hmm, interesting. I think you beam sell this dude. I think you try and take him out first. And then we get a little bit of block. Not a lot, but a little. And then let's end the turn. Okay. Definitely play that. Go with a defrag and another recursion. We're trying to upgrade our orb powers as quickly as we can. So let's see. Let's think about how we can do this. I think we can go recursion. That kills him. Then you go consume, which allows you to play this and actually get energy back. And then we can... Defend, defend and dual cast. I think that was the way to play it. But it's kind of tough. Like, sometimes it's hard to figure out what the, the best course of action is. Either way, he's dead. We made it through. We're in one piece. Uh, let's get rid of power potion and take a fire potion instead. Uh, and I think we're just going to skip all these. Chest gives us strawberry and bronze scales. Okay. Okay. I don't think we can afford to fight the elite. I think it's a little too, a little too risky. Let's get a fusion into our rotation. We'll go for a ball lightning. And then I think you go for the strike. Well, they're vulnerable. Fusion also very tempting. All right, white noise gives me storm. Whenever you play a power, channel one lightning. That seems, uh, I don't really have that many powers in my deck, but it's worth a shot. Uh, go with a recursion. Go with a dual cast, which gave me plasma. Strike, defend, defend, lightning. Uh, and then we're actually going to use this. Because I don't have a whole lot of HP to spare. And that'll help us get through these enemies a lot faster. So, recursion. Um, recursion again. Strike, strike. He's dead. Now we just got to deal with this dude. Beam sell him. Dual cast. That's the end of you. 10 damage and two lock on. Sure, that could be potentially good. We'll try it out. We're going to give it a go. We'll see what happens. Okay. So, I love a free defrag. I love a free strike. I love a free dual cast. I also like a free consume. Should have done that before we played the dual cast, but a little late for that. Uh, hit him with an iron wave, and then I think we end the turn. Free stuff is good, but... Hit him with that. Play the fusion. Wow, that's a little rough. Is it possible for us to kill him? It would be 11 damage. That would take him down to 22, which is not enough to kill him with Fire Potion. So... I think you play a Defend. You get a little bit of extra armor from your Plated Armor. And then you draw the worst hand that you possibly could have drawn. Okay, well, at least he's still dead. We had, like, no cheap cards in that whole little bit, but whatever. Skip those. We don't need them. Keep going. Now let's do it again. I hate these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's go recursion. I guess you go consume and defend. Like, it's... Uh... We don't, the problem with this deck is we really don't have any, like, heavy hitters. And that's kind of what we need. Lock-on helps, for sure. Play White Noise. That gave us Static Discharge, which is an amazing card. Um, 
I don't know if we can... I should have played Beam Cell first, but... Uh, channel that. And then we can Iron Wave him. And he's dead. I'm gonna skip all those. We might not even make it to the final boss of this floor. This is not looking good. I'm gonna go with an Iron Wave. And then I think you just gotta go defend, defend. And try to block as much of this damage as you can. We still are gonna take a hit, even so, but... Uh, okay, white noise. What do we got? Buffer. Prevent the next time you would lose HP. Sure. Go with a beam cell. We wanna take out the cleric first. Go with a bullseye and a recursion. Summons the orb back. Ball lightning on you. Defrag. Okay, cleric's gone. Now there's this dude to deal with. And I have no defensive cards whatsoever. So that's just great. Um, we're gonna do this. <clears throat> we made it. But we are quickly running out of juice. <laughs> There's not a whole lot left here. Uh, okay, beam cell this dude, because if we can get rid of him quickly, that would be the best. Um, strike. Let's do it this way. Strike, iron wave, zap. I would love to play consume there, but we just can't. Okay, white noise. Gives us storm. Um... Bullseye Ball Lightning. And then I guess we'll go Defrag. Oh, and that consider that is a power, so it channels an extra lightning for us, but we are almost dead. <laughs> this is eh, Okay. Um Ball Lightning. Then you go with a dual cast. And then you go with this. And you have 16 damage. You, you gotta hit. You gotta do that. I don't. I didn't want to, but I had to. I had no no choice. Um. I mean, how many power cards have we got? We got one, two, essentially two energy for two for 12 block is not great. Honestly, like, none of these are that good, but we need block in our deck because we're getting destroyed right now without it. I will take rebound. That could be helpful. All right, let's see if maybe we can make something work here. So, uh, let's go... Rebound. I don't think defrag will work. But we're gonna try it. And if not, I'll get that back instead. We'll save Steam Barrier because there's no reason to play it right now. All right, white noise gives me machine learning. Ball lightning, ball lightning. Uh, drink the speed potion. Throw the weak potion at him, throw up a defend. Try to block as much of this as we can. This is, this is essentially our plan in a nutshell. We have like one turn to make something happen here. So I think you go. You go consume, because if we're going to have any chance at this. Play this. How in the world? I think we're just done. Like, I don't think we have a shot. We have one HP right now. That is not ideal. Uh, okay, so definitely play fusion there. Play that and smack you. And then I guess we'll go with a dual cast. I guess. I would have liked to have played Consume, but... Oh, well. 
I don't think we're making it through this fight, though. I think uh, the writing is on the wall, and we are kind of screwed. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, we're, we're done. Um, ball lightning. Ball lightning. Give me a dual cast. Give me a steam. Give me all the blocks. Everything we can block with. We played our entire hand, and we are soundly beaten yet again. And we didn't even get the unlock. Dang it. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.